just imagining a parasite in the body is a scary thing, but many people have parasites and are not even aware of it. Parasites are microorganisms that live off other organisms. Anyone can get a parasitic infestation. It is more common than you may think. Some parasites can cause disease directly, while others cause disease by the toxins that they produce. There are several types of parasites that live in and feed off your body. Some survive on the food you consume, some feed on red blood cells and some even lay eggs inside your body. Some of the common parasites that can infest your body are pinworms, lambia, hookworms, tapeworms, trichinella, and diantamoeba fragilis. They normally enter the body through the skin or mouth. A person can get a parasite infestation due to several reasons, including exposure to areas having parasites, traveling to places that have parasite infestations, intake of contaminated water or food, poor sanitation, poor hygiene and a weak immune system. Close contact with pets can also lead to a parasite infestation. As parasites are of different forms, shapes and sizes, they cause a very wide range of signs and symptoms. Here are the top 10 warning signs that your body is full of parasites. 1. Chronic digestive issues. Intestinal parasite infestation can cause inflammation and destroy the intestinal lining of the gut, leading to chronic diarrhea. A 2015 study published in the Journal of Biology, Agriculture and Healthcare emphasizes routine intestinal parasite screening to increase the diagnostic rate of parasitic diarrhea and improve the treatment and prevention strategies of diarrhea in children with severe acute malnutrition. Even the toxic waste produced by the parasites can cause chronic constipation, gas, bloating, nausea and burning sensations in the stomach. If you are eating high fiber and highly alkaline foods on a daily basis and still experience diarrhea or other digestive issues, consider a parasite cleanse. 2. Abdominal Pain Before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel to see other useful health videos. Another stomach problem caused by parasites is abdominal pain. Parasites residing in the upper small intestinal region cause inflammation and irritation in this area. This leads to a bloated feeling and pain in the abdomen. Plus, parasites can even block the passage of waste products exiting the body, which can lead to pain in the upper abdominal region. Abdominal pain is mainly associated with roundworm, fluke, hookworm or tapeworm intestinal infestations. A 1986 study published in the Singapore Medical Journal found that hookworm infestation is a key cause of abdominal discomfort, especially among adults who recently traveled abroad. If you have sudden onset of severe abdominal pain from time to time, get yourself checked by a doctor. 3. Anal Itching Itching around the anus is another sign of a parasite infection. Especially those suffering from pinworms often complain of anal itching or discomfort. Itching around the anus occurs frequently at night when the female pinworms lay their eggs. The itching is caused by the female pinworms that migrate to lay eggs around the anus. Both the migrating female pinworms as well as the clumps of eggs are irritating and cause itching, crawling sensations or even acute pain. If the infected person scratches the area, the skin may break down and increase the risk of a secondary bacterial infection. As itching usually occurs at night, it leads to sleep disturbances and restlessness. If you have itching around the anus during the night for more than two weeks and without any sign of rashes, consult your doctor. 4. Fatigue and Weakness Fatigue may also be a symptom of a parasite infestation. This is mainly associated with intestinal worms that deplete the body of vital nutrients by feeding on the food you eat. Malabsorption of vitamins, minerals, fats and carbohydrates can make the body weak, leaving you exhausted, depressed and with a feeling of general apathy. It can lead to exhaustion at mental, physical and emotional levels. Plus, the toxic metabolic waste overload produced by the parasites causes the organs to work even harder to eliminate these waste products. This also leads to fatigue, low energy, lethargy and excessive weakness. If you have unrelenting fatigue even after eating and sleeping properly, consult a doctor to find out the cause. 5. 
change in appetite and weight loss. If you notice a sudden change in your appetite, particularly an increase in appetite, it may be due to the presence of parasites in your body. In fact, an increased appetite combined with weight loss is often noticed in cases of tapeworm or pinworm infestation. This happens as the parasites consume a good amount of the food eaten by the infected person, thus making the person hungry more often than usual. Also, the infected person may notice a strong early morning hunger and may never feel satisfied or full after eating a meal. If you experience weight loss with an increase in appetite, consult your doctor. 6. Mental Distress A parasite infestation can even cause mood swings, depression, anxiety and also visual hallucinations. Often, these symptoms are paired with digestive issues. The intestine contains both neurons and neurotransmitters, specifically serotonin, which are important for a healthy enteric nervous system. Toxic metabolic waste produced by parasites residing in the intestine can attack neurons and neurotransmitters, causing nervousness, restlessness, mood swings and even depression. Also, scientists believe that inflammation in the intestine can lead to inflammation in the brain and vice versa. If you are suddenly having mood swings or feeling depressed, consult your doctor to rule out the possibility of a parasite infestation. 7. Teeth Grinding If you grind your teeth in your sleep, one possible cause is a parasite infestation. Teeth grinding, also known as bruxism, may occur while sleeping due to anxiety and restlessness caused by waste and toxins released by the parasites in the body. A 2010 study published in Dental Research Journal confirmed the correlation between intestinal parasitic infections and bruxism among small children. As pathogenic parasites serve as a cause of bruxism among children, if you notice any such symptoms in your children, get their still examined. 8. Iron Deficiency Anemia Infestations by intestinal roundworms or pinworms can lead to iron deficiency in the body and ultimately cause anemia. The parasites steal the good vitamins, including iron, from the food the person eats, leading to an iron deficiency. A 2003 study published in Indian Pediatrics found a prevalence of intestinal parasitism up to 30 to 50 percent and anemia from 40 to 73 percent among school-going girls, 2 to 4 years of age, at Galbarga, Karnataka. The study notes that the problem is likely to be more common because of bad hygiene, poor awareness, illiteracy, poverty and a variety of allied factors. Another 2008 study published in the Nigerian Journal of Clinical Practice reports worm infestation and anemia among preschool children of peasant farmers in Calabar, Nigeria. Severe anemia ultimately affects a child's growth and development. In fact, slow growth and weight loss are common in children infested with parasites. If you notice signs of slow growth in your child, consult your doctor. 9. Skin Problems Parasites that invade the intestinal tract cause inflammation in the body, which in turn causes several skin problems. Such skin problems include rashes, hives, eczema and other forms of skin allergies. Also, the toxins and waste products released by the parasites cause an increase in the eosinophils level in your blood. This can lead to sores, swellings, lesions and ulcers. Not just skin, parasites can even lead to dry hair, brittle hair and hair loss. Instead of treating skin irritations or unexplained rashes, hives, rosacea or eczema on your own, consult your doctor for proper diagnosis of the problem. 10. Muscle and Joint Pain Certain parasites can invade the soft tissue in the joints and muscles, where they become enclosed in a cyst-like manner. This results in irritation and pain, which is often mistaken for arthritis. Also, the toxins released by the parasites can cause an inflammatory response within the body. Plus, pain can be experienced as a result of the immune system's response to the parasites. If you are not able to zero down the cause behind sudden pain in the muscles, joints or any other part of the body and the pain is getting worse day by day, consult a doctor. How we get parasites in the first place. First, 
You need to understand that you are not actually eating worms to become infected. You're getting infected from the microscopic parasite eggs that can be virtually anywhere. If after reading this section you're thinking? If parasite eggs are everywhere and are so easy to obtain, then why aren't we ALL infected? The answer? 90% of us already are. Here are some examples of how easily you can become a parasite host. 1. Contaminated water. Water is the primary way parasites infect humans. For example, over 50% of our lakes, river streams and creeks are infected with the protozoa parasite Giardia lambia. This parasite is not killed by chlorine and is steadily finding its way into urban areas with treated drinking water. Symptoms of an infestation include, diarrhea and cramping that lasts for over a week and is most often misdiagnosed as the stomach flu. Also when swimmers have parasites and they swim in places with others, the water is then contaminated with eggs from their bodies. It only takes a very small amount of swallowed water to become infected. 2. Other humans. You can obtain parasite eggs from other humans very easily. Since most infections come from the anal oral route think about this, someone has parasites, they use the restroom, do not wash their hands afterwards, then they sit down and use the salt shaker on the restaurant's table, they have just deposited microscopic eggs onto this object. You are the next person to sit at this table and use the salt shaker, you then lick your finger or even put your hand to your face, you are now the new host to parasites. Parasite eggs can live under human fingernails for up to two months. Think of how many common objects you come into contact with on a daily basis. Even more common infections come from kissing, holding hands, sharing eating utensils and of course, sexual contact. Usually if one family member is a host to parasites, the entire family is infected. There are many parasite eggs that can live without a host for weeks, for example, Microscopic pinworms eggs become airborne and can travel anywhere and they can live for two days outside of a host. These microscopic eggs are inhaled where they then hatch inside your body. 3. Animals Animals, including pets, can spread 240 diseases to humans via parasites. By petting or grooming animals, you are picking up eggs that pass from them to us via hands, nose and mouth. Also parasite-infected fleas and ticks and parasite-infected animal feces are concerns. This is why walking barefoot where animals have defecated is a major source of parasite infections, especially when you can't SE the actual animal feces, you just happen to be walking where they have been before. Think about this, when your pet, or someone else's, licks their anus, they are depositing thousands of eggs onto their tongues, then they lick you and those eggs have just been transmitted to their new host. You. Americans now have the highest rate of toxoplasmosis parasites in the world. You have probably heard of this one as all pregnant women are warned about toxoplasmosis because they can die from an infestation. Pets and domesticated animals are not the only ones spreading parasites, mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, lice and all other biting insects transmit protozoa, one cell, parasites to humans. 4. Meats. Undercooked meats are a very high source of parasite infections. Commercial pork products are also notorious for infections, bacon, ham, pork chops, cold cuts, hot dogs, etc. Also cuts of meat such as beef, lamb, chicken and fish contain parasite eggs. Sushi, raw fish, alone contains eggs and larvae of several species of parasites. We trust the kettle pork and chicken producers to keep their livestock wormed on a regular basis, but over 50% of animals that go to slaughter are parasite infected. 5. Fruits and Vegetables Unwashed fruit and vegetables are also a big source of parasite carriers. A lot of vegetables are eaten raw and according to the Center for Disease Control diseases from fruit and vegetables are on the rise. With a huge demand for fruit and vegetables, we Americans import 30 billion tons of food per year. Some of this food comes from countries where animal manure and human feces are used as fertilizer. This practice greatly increases the spread of parasites. The practice of eating at is also on the rise. Salad bars, infected food handlers, and improperly washed fruits and vegetables are all sources for parasites. 6. Travel 
In our modern age, world travel is a way of life for many. These travelers are bringing home parasites that were once almost unknown in America. Airplanes are a great source for parasite transmission. It's very common for a family to go on vacation and bring back uninvited guests with them. We also have a huge influx of refugee and immigrant populations who are bringing us their country's parasites.